um, whether it's pitching in kickball or sharing her own personal struggles in morning meetings, she makes building relationships with students look easy and it creates such a home environment in her classroom which is really what her students need. It's a wonderful thing to see. I think it's her personality. She has fun. She doesn't care if she's going to embarrass herself. She will do whatever it takes to make our students feel comfortable or like they belong and that they have a home in her classroom. So she'll have fun and just do whatever she can to build a relationship with. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. The thing about Mr. Oliva that really sets him apart from other teachers is the fact that he constantly is pushing kids to achieve higher. He's not going to settle for mediocre when he's in charge of our DECA program, which is the marketing organization across the nation. He's not afraid to ruffle feathers to push kids to be better. And I think that's key to his success and, and our student success. A lot of these kids are going to go into the business world and have these skills that they've learned in his class and in his organization. And so that real life application is so relevant nowadays that we're trying to achieve and Mr. Oliva nails it. There. Okay. We, we. I always look forward to going to Madam Fairley's class because I know she genuinely cares about her students and I know if I'm having a bad day or if I didn't get enough sleep or something, she'll always be the first to notice and remind me that my well-being is more important than my grades and I need to focus on myself every once in a while. We started calling her mom as a joke a few years ago and it just really does feel like we're her kids sometimes and she just really cares about us. And I love having somewhere to go and someone to count on for the past four years of high school. Ooh, what a good combo. If you don't know my friend, this is Marilyn Singleton. We've worked together for how many years? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Maybe what, 20 is that? 20 plus years, yep. Yeah. I think Joel, he, he really brings the passion to whatever he's doing, whether it's in the classroom or on the field, and having the opportunity to play for him and be a co-coach with him, it really shows on both sides as a student, as a player, and as a co-worker. Yeah, I would honestly consider him like a second father. I've known him for 10 plus years all through high school and have kept in touch and obviously moving back here and working with him has has been like a like a mentor to me. If you want a good story, Joel's the guy to go to. He always has those quick anecdotes and he'll talk to anybody and uh, that's what we love about him. And it shows his passion for people and for coaching and for what he does. We've been doing this 54 years combined, so <laughs> I think we got it down by now. I think we, we do.